Hey there guys and welcome back to Deadly Creatures, it's time for chapter 6, Entangled. More scorpion fun in the American desert. Alright, come on. There we go, we're in a cave, it's dark. And here we go, explore the citadel cactus. Oh, so we're still inside that cactus? Well, that has to be a big ass cactus if it reaches underground and all that stuff. Kinda looks like a beehive. All the holes in the wall. And what's that thing? Oh sweet, it's a praying mantis. I love praying mantises, they're awesome. Like the coolest bugs ever. Oh, it's time for the quick time event already. Slam him down on the ground and stab him with his own arm. Yeah, that's the way we do it. And then we go om nom nom on his little praying mantis head. New ability, chop. Okay, another platforming related ability. By swinging the, re the Wii mode and nunchuck side to side, you can cut through grass. Yay, we're officially a scorpion lawnmower now. So yeah, thanks for the praying mantis for giving us his ability to cut grass. You know, in that sense, the scorpion and the spider are kind of like Mega Man or something. They take the abilities of the enemies they defeat and use them for their own personal gain. So, hooray for Mega Man Scorpion and Mega Man Tarantula. Alright. Is there anything else for us to do here, or do we just need to crawl down a long winding tunnel? And just eat some grasshoppers from time to time. Let's see, let's chop this bush and see what's behind here. Huh. I need my directional arrow. Okay, loading, guess that means we're going the right way. Come on. Doesn't need to take that long. There we go. And more bland corridors ahead. No enemies whatsoever. I mean, all we've had is that one praying mantis so far. Boring. I can see light at the end of the tunnel. I mean, seriously. What the hell, designer? Did you really not think of anything to put in here? Just a bland corridor. Oh, hey. Now we're here near the octopus cactus where the... Tarantula went in the previous part. Ah, crap, it's that spiky lizard thing again. Oh well, the scorpion's stronger than the spider, so it should still easily keel over and die. And give us 200 points. Uh, why do I get the feeling I'm about to be jumped here? Holy crap. Ah, great, it's a freaking tarantula again. The things that can dodge attacks at the speed of light and crawl on walls. But luckily we are stronger. Except he keeps intercepting me before I can attack. It's annoying. Holy crap. Things kicking my scorpion hiney. Come on, I can block and you can't. Crap, he's outflanking me. It's not gonna work. Right, why did the barrow strike? Why can't I dig? I want to do the barrow strike, damn it. Stop hitting me. Okay, there we go. Now there's a window of opportunity for us. You stop jumping around. Christ, you're annoying. Oh, I'll just get over here and die, you stupid furry eight legged pest. Come on. You son of a- oh, did we get him? Oh, what? You were gonna run away now? Wuss. Track the tarantula. Wait, was that the tarantula we play as, or was that another one? Traverse the octopus canyon. Alright, grasshopper. Let's see. Come on, grasshopper, I want you. I need health. Why does the health run away from you? 
Damn it. Why do I keep saving? Ugh, get over here, stupid grasshopper. Piece of shit. I don't wanna save. Why did they make the save button and the attack button the same damn button? Ah, well. Screw the grasshopper. Ah, crap. Well, that thing didn't really lay a finger on me the previous time, so why shoot this one? See? Didn't even get a chance to attack. But there looks like a spider web, so I'm guessing they're recycling the same environments again for the scorpion and the spider. Like, have them traverse the same levels, but through different paths, I guess. Alright. Yay, beetles. They're not really much to worry about, except they don't give me health either. Oh, I can could have done a quick time event there. Yeah, smash him. And fling him about. Blood everywhere, and just stab him through the spine. Even though bugs don't have a spine, because they're invertebrates. Or at least I think. Yeah, they don't have bones, they just have like an har a hard exoskeleton. So he doesn't have a spine to stab. Alright. More chopping. Man, they really have you use the new abilities you get. A lot. Remember when we got the web sling as the spider? They had you jumping all over the goddamn place. Okay. And... Once again, I have no clue where we are. Except that there's always more grass to chop. With our handy little scissor-like front legs. Or arms. Technically, they're not legs because he doesn't use them for walking. So I'd say they're arms. Yeah. Oh, great. More spiky lizards. And beetles. Ah, Christ. Crap, that thing can block. Ain't that annoying. Well, now we... Wait, how did we get up on top of him? Sense is not made. Oh, man, he's dead. Don't care, anyway. And on to the bugs. Tail strike combos. That's nice. This combo kills them just fine. Okay, there was a red one as well. Come on, you must die. Ah, quick time event. I want to see him die in horrible agony. By flinging him around and smashing him on the ground. Which is the best way to finish people. At least I love doing that in prototype. Like picking up people and throwing them against stuff. Make him go splat. Amazing fun. Yeah, I need to do that one soon, prototype. Although I might do that like after Infamous because they're kind of similar. Explore the wasteland tunnels. Does that mean more bland tunnels with nothing in them? I sure as hell hope not. Well, at least there's plenty of grass to cut here. Guess the critters that live here haven't really been keeping up of keeping up their yard. So now this scorpion comes along and cuts their grass for them. And what do they do to thank him? They try to kill him. How? Rude and uncivilized. And there's a whole bunch of... Oh, grasshopper. Not that I don't care. Eating those grubs gave me my health back. But I can still eat the grasshopper. Because I hate him. And again, more digging. Yes, they have not forgotten about the digging ability either. Alright, more grass. Sheesh. My arms are growing weary from swinging the Wii Remote in every imaginable direction. Ah, yeah, screw it. Why couldn't they have made it so you can play this game with a classic controller? I mean, that's how I play No More Heroes 2. Because I don't really like waggling the Wii Remote like a retard. And yeah, No More Heroes 2 can be played with a classic controller as well, and I had one anyway. So, I thought, why the hell not? Because I like buttons better than swinging stuff. 
All right. Is there anything in this tunnel? Perhaps. No. Oh, digging. Okay. We'll do that. And what is that? No, we're not done. Okay, then. Uh, did I, like, miss something? I don't get it. What? We went the wrong way? Ah, oh, crap. Alright, then. So, we had to take this corridor, apparently, huh? Well, fine, then. And why does this take us to more grass? Of course. It's like the freaking Pokemon games where you could... Oh, two praying mantises. Mantai. Eh, screw it. Do want to see the awesome quick time event again, though. Because stabbing people with their own arms is fun. 200 points. I like the toughest enemies yet, the Praying Mantai. Mantises. Why do they always make the plurals of stuff so difficult to think of? And stab him. He's almost like Kratos who stabs people with their own swords. Yeah, this game truly is God of Scorpion. Or Scorpion of War. Move and lock charge. Alright. Press C, shake the nunchuck. It's pretty much the sprint. Ain't that great. Yeah, what do we do here? Nothing, apparently. Or maybe... Oh, we can crawl on the tin can this way. Why did I not think of that before? Grasshopper. Let's see. Don't think we're supposed to crawl up here on the ceiling. Or is this even the ceiling? I have no clue. I'm so disoriented. Okay, this is the floor. I reckon. Yeah, it is. Alright. Oh, this place looks big. Looks suitable for a... Holy crap, rats! Ain't that great. That's just all we needed. Bloody rats. I mean... I'm pretty sure a rat's a pretty formidable enemy for a scorpion. Even though they're about the same size and all. 200 points for a rat. That's just as much as the praying mantis and the spiky lizard. Okay, I'm pretty sure there were like three rats. Where'd the other ones go? Eh, screw it. Moving on. Man, this game is dark. I can barely make out anything other than the scorpion on my screen in Studio 12. Let's see, we're just crawling over some rocks and stuff. Ooh, a save point. Just in case we run into more rats. And of course, there is always grass. You know, that's one thing... I remember back in, like, Pokemon Red and Blue, you could use Cut in the middle of a field and, like, all the grass would vanish and you couldn't run into wild Pokemon anymore. I don't think you can do that in the later games anymore. It's too bad, because that was pretty handy. I mean, hey, don't feel like running into any wild Pokemon? Just use Cut and make the grass disappear and you won't have that problem. That would be... Really freaking helpful in black and white because they have the worst random encounter rate yet. Like, I can, can't even take two steps without running into a wild freaking Pokemon. <coughs> I mean, really. And also, the worst part is that, that like, uh, the trainers that are walking around on the overworld. Like, when you have a wild Pokemon encounter, the trainers keep on moving, so... I've had it happen a few times that, like, one of the trainers that was running around in the grass, like, sneaked up right behind me when I encountered a wild Pokemon. I got locked into the encounter, I ran away, and then immediately the trainer challenged me to a battle. So, yeah, kind of annoying. Hope they deal with that in the inevitable Pokemon Grey version or something. 
or however the hell they're gonna call the inevitable third one, starring Kiurum as the version mascot with possibly an alternate form. Yes, Praying Mantis, come on. Awesome quick time event. Oh, and take your arm. That's what you get for having such sharp arms. And he dies. And this is the grass we need to cut through. Screw the grub, not hungry. And another beetle. You just want to die. In one single punch. Stupid bombardier beetle. That's what you get for messing with the scorpion. Alright. Well, I guess we're almost at the end of this chapter. Bloody mites again. I hate them so much. Get off me. Alrighty. Adventure goal complete. And there's the next chapter. Swarm of flies. So that's all for this chapter. See you guys in the next part of Deadly Creatures with more spider action. Thanks for watching and... Have a nice day and bye-bye.